Okay, now we're going to get on to um, ignition coils for small engines. And the, uh, the most common one used um, for many, many years in various versions is the single cylinder um, magneto type ignition. And that has a, uh, let's just uh, make that a little bigger. It has a, a coil that looks somewhat like that with a spark plug lead coming out of it going directly to the plug. And it will have a magneto with fins on it and fixed magnets in the magneto that spin past these poles here. I'll show you another picture. And then they go to a set of points underneath. They're the most horrible, unserviceable um, ignition systems you could ever hate to have to work on because to get to the points, if you, if you have to get to the points, you have to easily use a puller to get this pulley off. And on an old engine, that can be a real drama. Uh, so yeah, when I see one of these, it's like, uh, but fortunately in modern days, you can actually, um, get a points replacement module and you just basically snip the wire to the points and fit the module instead, but I'll get into that. The basis of this coil, um, now this, this is a four stroke, but the principle works the same on a two stroke. Okay. Um, now I'll show you another picture of those coils down here and you'll see here's the, the most basic coil. And it has these poles here and the fixed magnets of the magneto flywheel rotate past those with the north and south magnet. And when the north and south magnets move past um, these poles, it generates a voltage in the primary winding of the coil. So we get an inductance. Um, but the problem is, is that because it's north and south poles, it generates an AC voltage. So if we just had no points if this was just shorted to ground coming out um, we'd have an AC circuit swinging backwards and forwards through the coil now we don't want that so what we do is we have a set of points and the set of points remain closed when the DC component of the of the magnets flowing past these poles um, moves into DC positive and then um, we open the points and in opening the points, we don't get any continuing um, voltage swinging the other way. We open the points and we actually discharge that accumulated uh, um, inductance and magnetic flux inside the primary and it's discharged into the secondary as a spark. Okay. And then it comes around again and the points close and then the magnets come past here, inject the DC charge component into the primary. And the points open again. Now you will see a number of these um, on both four strokes and two strokes and these are four stroke ones. Now you might be a little confused by that um, but I'll just I'll, I'll explain that shortly. Um, now in some of these you actually have an electronic module so there is no points needed okay and this is where the points replacement modules you can get or you can actually make one um, are used um, and because um, this, is ha this has an AC component of, of, of voltage going through it when the magneto magnets spin past this, this air gap here and there has to be an air gap when you adjust it too by the way if you fit these coils they're slightly slotted and you have to put a feeler gauge in each side and the feeler gauge has to be uh, non-ferrous like brass little brass feeler gauges you get um, for those um, and you put those in there and you set the screws to lock the uh, the air gap between there and the magneto so it's close but it doesn't strike it and um, because that produces a, a sine wave an AC sine wave as the, as the magnets go past it um, that is sensed by the little module and the little module can actually turn off uh, when it swings in the other direction and in turning it off produces the spark and this is a slightly later one so with those coils you'll have a little piggyback module like this and you won't actually have any points you'll just have one lead that actually shorts out the primary to stop the engine um, likewise with this one you have to actually short them you know, once they're running they're running so you actually have to short them out so um, you got to be careful with these if you take the lead off the kill button off off the engine and you start the other engine up then you've got to try and short the lead and you might get a bit of a zap up the arm trying to do that but anyway that's an aside um, 
these coils are on four strokes and two strokes engines like this right this is an older style one with the points underneath the plate underneath the mag you know, the, the magnets spinning magnets and the fins cooling fins because it's cooling um, the reason they can be used in a four stroke and two stroke is you, you might be thinking well how can it be used in a four stroke when it has to fire every second uh, time the piston gets to top dead center so every fourth stroke well when it's used in a four stroke it's a dead dead spark system like the previous video describing the wasted dead spark system with the twin lead coils and, and four cylinder bikes um, so it just sparks on overlap as the uh, piston rises the exhaust valve closes gets to top dead center um, as the inlet as the uh, inlet valves opening and um, it sparks but there's no compression so no no issue and then it comes around again the next time the piston comes up and the valves are closed and we get compression we get spark so uh, it's a dead spark system and this type you may see um, now again it's got a set of points and it's got rotating magnets that rotate around these two coils now it's it's similar to to this system okay similar to this this type of arrangement okay in that it, it works in by the same principle um, it generates uh, coil primary voltage with one of these coils now if you see another coil inside um, with two coils you'll have one that's operating the ignition coil through the points and the other one will be a lighting coil so when you turn a headlight on on a two-stroke bike and it hasn't got a battery this is the coil it's running so if you've got one the engine runs that the headlight doesn't then you might be your uh, your lighting coil uh, on some of these engines you have three coils and you'll have one for the ignition and you'll have one for charging the battery and you'll have an additional one for when the lights are on um, because the one charging the battery um, needs extra when the lights are on so it uses two when the, when the lights headlights are on um, now they're the types of um, the various um, the variants of, of, of what you'll get on uh, the charging and the, and the, and the ignition with um, points driven on two strokes and like I say on those singles you can actually replace the points with the module to do that um, that's for a single cylinder engine this uh, one over to the right here stroke twin back to uh, what looks like our earlier uh, four stroke twin lead dead spark system and it pretty much is that it's driven off the crankshaft it's got a points cam and it's got a uh, two stroke with a left and right cylinder left and right mark left and right points and as you can see you adjust a main base plate to adjust your timing the timing marks down here and then you've got a secondary adjustment plate to adjust the timing for your other side so what we do with these sets of points is we put an ohm meter across the points um, because these ones have got coils charging coils in inside them as well and, and then magneto inside it's just that the points on this one are on the outside of it and uh, you know it makes the serviceability for a motorcycle um, now you'll, you'll see some motorcycles like the one I showed you before where, you, where this type you can actually get into the slots of this to get to the points to see if the points are opening and closing and check the gap and adjust the gap okay on these ones um, on these nasty old behemoths there's no such hole so that's why I don't like those ones you can test it with a timing mic but um, other ones you'll have to test like this one with a dog gauge down the piston to measure it and then because you've got no power to it because this chart this has got to be spinning okay so you can't be testing it when it's spinning you're going to actually have to use a meter across the points and you're going to actually have to see the dial gauge measuring the um, ignition timing so in a two stroke we put a dial gauge in the piston and when the piston comes up to about three millimeters to two millimeters before top dead center that's when we want the, to see the uh, the needle swing on the meter indicating the points have just opened um, so you basically adjust the gap to adjust the timing so if the gap is what it should be per factory the timing should be right but to check the timing um, you can fine tune it um, with the dial gauge in the top of the cylinder and um, an ohm meter across the points to see when they just um, they just open just crack open and check it against your timing 
to get accurate timing measurement on that one. So um, I'll get back to more of this, but uh, that will do for today. Okay, looking again.